Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor and today's video is a little bit different because I want to talk about an article that somebody wrote on one of my programs. Hang on, I want to check something right quick. Okay, that shows up. Uh, now there's this program I've been working on, it's called Hide Settings Pages. Now first I want you to see what it looks like. Um, I've been working on it a little bit recently. Here's a startup message, but here's the main interface of Hide Settings Pages. Uh, basically what it does is it allows you to check buttons right here then when you click apply changes um, it shows you what you've checked you can say yes and then you can apply changes what it allows you to do oh wait no I clicked the wrong thing uh, here it is um, so basically what it does is it allows you to apply um, a key value to the Windows registry which uh, along with Windows 10 creators update or higher you can hide certain pages in the settings application now I don't have Windows 10 on this computer so I can't really show you how it hid things but that's basically right there what it does and you've got other things right here um, so I just wanted to quickly do that there are other ways to do that you could edit the registry yourself or uh, do a group policy but I decided to make that application and I've been working on it since last June as of recording it is January 13th 2018 I've been working on it since June or July 2017 anyway that's enough of my own information here's an article that somebody wrote without me even mentioning it to them I didn't even say anything to them uh, and if you notice, this is a Russian website, so I I do not speak Russian, I speak English, and I didn't, um, they didn't ask me if there was anything that I wanted to tell them. As you can see, here's a Russian advertisement too, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, so I kind of left that up there because it was actually a really um, funny advertisement because it's, I don't know, just sometimes I find advertisements to be kind of funny. Um, I don't read Russian, I read English, so uh, Google Chrome has this option to translate pages, so that's what I've done. Um, so I'm going to read you this article uh, because I kind of find it really neat. It's, it's not really a long article, it's more of a description thing with a few screenshots, but basically here we go. Hide settings pages. Hide pages in parameters, which I'm assuming is the Russian version of the settings app in Windows 10. I don't know for sure. I don't. Again, I don't read Russian. I read English. Uh, have you have you already taught? I'm starting up here now. Have you already taught someone from your household, friends, or coworkers who just master the computer to use the options panel to personalize the desktop? It's time to restrict them access to critical parameters using the utility hide settings pages. They did not even mention to me about this before this article went up. So this is completely independent from my project. Uh, here we go, down here, starting from right here. Hide settings pages serves to hide individual pages in the options panel by changing some registry keys. The program is easy to use. The user just select the necessary pages in the list and use the apply changes button to hide them. Optionally, hide settings pages can apply all but the selected pages. Now here are some screenshots. I don't remember taking these. I may have taken these, but I don't think I did because I don't ever remember putting the registry key value preview on top of the main window in a screenshot. Maybe I did, and I don't remember doing about and activation only. Maybe I did at some point, but I don't remember. If necessary, I'm starting from right here now, if necessary, the utility makes it easy to undo all the changes made. In addition, by default, prompts the user to create a system restore point each time the changes are saved. 
The view large option serves to display the current value of the registry key the value of the current value of the registry parameter with a list of all blocked pages and they've got a screenshot here with um with a recent somewhat recent build of an insider preview version of Windows 10 um because they've got the unless they have another program that they installed I don't know I don't know if this is the sets feature or if it's just another program that they have installed but over here you can tell it's recent because this says fluent acrylic fluent design acrylic on top of it on the um on the sidebar here now I'm going to I don't know what they hid I'm going to assume that they hid uh, about an activation because uh, because well that's they're showing off how it works I'm assuming um, now I'm starting here or here I mean spreads hide settings pages for free open source the interface language in the current version is available only one English personally I don't really under even if I did know other languages I don't know how to properly make it so that the user can change translations on an application otherwise if I did know other applications um, then I probably would give that feature to the user to change the language at the time of publication of this material the program is at the beta stage there may be failures and malfunctions in addition the developer does not advise taking a great interest in hiding a large number of pages in one section as this often leads to a drop in the parameters so what happens if you basically as a software developer myself uh, basically what happens is uh, right here uh, please be aware that hiding too many pages from certain categories such as apps may cause the settings app to crash when clicking on those categories this message can be disabled via options show start a pointing message so basically what happens is for some reason in Windows 10 the versions that I've tested this application on and just the strings that I that are created with this application if you hide too many things in one in one area say all these things are in one category sometimes if you hide all of them the category on the main page of the settings app doesn't disappear and when you click on it it crashes it's really weird I don't understand why that is but that's something that Microsoft would have to have to fix so down here we have download software hide settings pages version 0 0.3 beta now I went on to virus total I downloaded the file then uploaded it to virus total in this checksum right here as of re recording as of this date right here this checksum is the same as what's on my computer when I put together the original um, zip file that I uploaded to github um, I guess we could look through here in case anybody mentioned anything I'm kind of interested in um oh nobody said anything okay that's fine just wondered um and they also provided a link of official page of the developer author so this goes to my github page the repository for this application so they put it under administration and interface configuration so something I want to do next is I want to click up here where it says on the Windows 10 community that's their home page WinCore's home page and right here and I scrolled I scrolled down and found um, 
that this was actually January 9th at 10, 11 a.m. They actually have a really nice uh, image here. Yeah, they. I think they actually made their own screenshot for it. Nice. Um, wow. I'm not... I'm less surprised or I'm less shocked that a publication would do that, make their own image, and more of that it's like neat that they did it. Um, so yeah, they have a listing right here. Then if we go under this tab, which is the programs tab, you can go to that under here. Right at the top, it's the most recent program. It's in the programs category, which is really neat. And over here on the left, you can see that it's compatible with PC and tablets according to WinCore's what they um, what they put on there, which is kind of neat. They've got other things here too. Yeah, that must be theirs because that's the same wallpaper. If you look, that's the same wallpaper right here. Wow, that's really cool. And over here, here's just another page in case something happened to this other tab. Um, um, so yeah, I think this is really neat um, that somebody actually um, made an article on one of my pieces of software. Um, even though it is, yes, it is Russia. It's in Russian, okay. That's fine. It's still somebody saying, hey, this is a cool piece of software. I'm going to take my time to actually make an article on it, even though it's by somebody who's not popular at all. I mean, that's the way you get popular. I'm not trying to say that, oh, I'm big and popular, but I'm not. <laughs> and it's really surprising for a publication to like a publication of any size to pick up one of my things of course yes I did name it hide settings pages with no spaces in between because a lot of open source software likes to do that well a lot of popular ones like to do that such as OBS well that's all one or those are separate words um, but a lot of open source software likes to have it all one word and like something easy to find that's what I wanted to have I wanted to make it easy to find for people because I'm not really that good at naming software some other people are but this was like perfect in my opinion I'm not trying to rub my ego or anything um, because my stuff isn't the best but I, I try pretty hard to do it pretty well um, but anyway I guess I should stop talking about myself. Nobody likes that. Um, so yeah, I just thought this was really neat and wanted to upload a video about it. Um, I actually noticed this from noticed this from my um, right here traffic. Now, if you're wondering why it says download Windows 10 ISO, I was trying to find that page where Microsoft allows you to just download the um, latest uh, version of Windows um, on their, from Microsoft.com, latest version of Windows 10 for free, so you can install it without a license and just use it like that, because I needed it for something. Right under here, under the traffic, I got it under here. And I was like, oh, that's neat. That's probably just a just a repost or like where it's like a picture name of the application and a download button. But no, they actually wrote about it. So I think that was pretty neat. Um, I think that's about all I should be talking about today. Um, so I, uh, I took such a long time to do this video. So um, goodbye for now.